Okay. The hello, everyone. My name is Moon Jung Kim from Digist, and I'm going to talk about effects of computer mouse lift of distance settings in mouse lifting actions. So naturally, the search for optimal performance of the mouse device has been an important issue, especially for competitive gamers. Uh, there is a various mouse design parameters that can affect user performance. For example, weight and shape of the mouse and sensor sensitivity, as known as DPI, pulling rate and sensor position of the mouse can affect the performance. Also, the hand and arm position can affect the performance. In this study, we will focus on an unexplored gaming mice pro parameter known as the lift up distance setting. Lift up distance, or LOD for short, is the height at which a mouse sensor stops tracking when lift up the surface. This feature is especially important for FPS players who lift up the mouse frequently. The modern computer mice utilize optical displacement sensor modules for tracking the mouse. However, this sensor lacks the ability to measure the vertical distance from the surface directly. This is why mouse with separate distance sensors have been released, such as SteelSeries Rival 600 and EVGA X70 model. And many mice, especially gaming models, allow users to adjust the precise lift of distance with customization software. However, there is limited public information from academia and industry on the quantitative effect of LOD. And to our knowledge, there is no scientific studies to assess how different LOD affect user perception and pointing accuracy. Also, there is no centralized LOD measurement methodology. And now, we need to see why LOD setting is important for the FPS players who often experience mouse lifting actions. Here is a video showing how FPS players move their mouse when playing an FPS game. FPS players use low DPIs for accurate aiming. This means that if they need to switch screens quickly to facing the enemy behind the user's back, they'll have to repeatedly lift the mouse and put it back to the center to keep tracking it in a limited space. So for users, it is important that tracking stops when the mouse is lifted up and tracking starts when the mouse is landing on the mouse pad. Especially for FPS gamer, a low LOD is generally preferred, typically less than three millimeters, as it is believed to prevent unintentional cursor movement error during li lifting action. However, setting the LOD too low may hinder tracking stability. The distance between the sensor and the tracking surface may change because of soft mouse pad deformation, subtle irregularly on the desktop surface. So then, if the LOD setting is too low, a slight deviation from the optimal condition will reject the sensor reading. Therefore, the re LOD setting is a trade-off between tracking stability and unintentional movement error in lifting action. And gamers prefer to keep the LOD level of LOD low to prevent unintentional cursor movement, and they invented several tweaks to lower the LOD. They attached a tape to reduce the amount of light from the sensor called tape trick. Also, they used thicker mouse feet to raise mouse height. And also, there is one more problem. There is no accurate method to measure the lift of distance setting. So many users rely on technique established by the online community, which use CDs or DVDs, which have a thickness of 1.2 millimeter. For example, to measure the lift of distance with CDs, Users stack one, them one by one under the mouse and check if the cursor is still moving while the sensor passes over the hole in the middle. For those reasons, we systematically investigated how changing lift of distance setting affects mouse performance. Our main contributions are, first, we suggest an accurate and repeatable method for measuring LD. Second, we conducted user tests to present empirical data on user perception at different LOD level. And third, we proposed the stability and error metrics in lifting action. And last, we conducted user tests about stability and error in lifting action. <clears throat> For our two user tests, we required a mouse with precise LOD control. 
While there are many commercial mouse that advertise adjustable LOD, but specific measurements of their LOD have not been publicly available. So therefore, we built a measurements jig ourselves for an accurate LOD assessments. Now, this video demonstrates how we measure mouse LOD settings. The mouse was fixed to the alien guide blocks using a 3D printing jig that perfectly fits the mouse shape and the bottom of the mouse mated with the surface of the left plate, which was mounted flat. And the right plate was slightly slanted about 1.41 degree. When sliding the mouse to the right, uh, it makes the distance from the mouse and to the surface gradually increase. And the position where the cursor stops was recorded. And similarly, sliding the mouse to the left make the distance from the mouse to the surface decrease. And then the point at which the cursor start to move again was recorded. Okay. Then we can calculate the lift of distance settings using the marker position. So we measure four LOD adjustable mice and among these devices, EVGA-X17 showed a superior performance in the range of 10 LOD levels from 0.4 millimeter to 3.0 millimeter. Therefore, we use this mouse for the rest of the user tests. Also, among the 10 level of LOD in X17, we use four of them as independent variables for the rest user's test. After finding the perfect mouse for us, we, we ran two user tests. First one was a psychological test to measure the ability of users to discriminate between different levels of LOD. So we recruit 24 participants and perform the ISO 4120 at 2021 method named triangle test. Uh, one trial consists of three stimuli, stimuli called a triad and two stimuli had the same LOD and one stimulus was different from the others. For each stimulus, one of four levels of LOD was set, and then participants were given 45 seconds for each stimulus to freely interact without a specific goal assigned. And then participants asked which had a different LOD from others they thought of. And they were forced to choose one, even in the case where the stimuli were indistinguishable. So we, and then we recorded the number of correct answer for each trier. This figure showed the result of LOD perception test. The number of correct answers in each triad consisting of two LOD levels and their corresponding upper risk level in the triangle test. And as a result, participants could not distinguish two LOD settings with difference of up to 1.20 millimeter. And all triad triads with a LOD difference greater than 1.331 millimeter were distinguishable. And in the second user test, we perform a target click test for quantitative error measurement. And for the target click task, participants played Aimlabs SpiderShot 180 game. Uh, and this, this task shows like this. And two targets appear one by one in the random position within the current field of view. And the following two targets appear in the random position 180 degree behind. And this sequence was repeated for one minute. Yeah, this has forced participants to rotate their FOV 180 degree per two targets to maximize the number of the observable lifting action. And for the user test, we newly recruited 24 participants who play FPS game for at least four hours a week. Participants complete the ta TC task 12 times that four LOD level times three sessions per each LOD level. And during the TC task, we collected raw USB HID reports from the mouse and physical mouse movement using a motion capture system. And then to quantify the error and stability of mouse performance when mouse lifting action, we present the following three metrics. Firstly, unintentional movement error refers to displacement sensor measurements detected when the mouse is not in contact with the surface. So we defined the unintentional movement error as accumulation of the displacement reports 
when set position of mouse is over or equal to 6.5 millimeter. And then we measure two types of tracking stability in the spatial, spatial domain and in the temporal domain. The spatial tracking stability was e evaluated by measuring spatial jitter in movement. We define the spatial jitter mean, spatial jitter as mean absolute error between the raw velocity and smoothed cursor velocity. And as a temporal stability assessment, the stutter of USB HID report interval was quantified. Here. The X17 mouse operates at a polling rate of 1000 Hertz and the HID reports should always have one millisecond intervals at this speed. So for temporal stability, we contacted the number of inter report intervals over or equal to 1.5 milliseconds and divided that by the total number of HID reports. This means we define the temporal stutter as a proportion of skipped or missing report. And the results of the target click task show a significant main effect for unintentional movement error on LOD levels and lifting phase. Post-talk analysis revealed that unintentional movement errors escalate as the LOD level increase. In the severity in special domain called special jitter, there was no significant main effect of LOD level sessions and their interaction was over also, uh, and their interactions. However, as shown in the figure, a significant main effect of LOD levels on temporal stutter was found. Uh, temporal stutter decreased when LOD setting goes higher. Taken together, the results showed that increasing LOD leads to greater you know, unintended movement error, but it also enhanced temporal tracking stability. So clearly, we can say that there is a trade-off between tracking stability and unintentional movement error in lifting action. <coughs> and we can, also we can choose the optimal LOD setting according to the type of the scenarios. Uh, in lifting scenarios, we can say that LOD3 is optimal condition and in tracking scenarios, LOD5 is optimal condition. The ideal LOD level may vary based on the task specifics. So given the balance between unintended movement errors and tracking stability, we can choose the optimal settings among the levels. So in conclusion, uh, we have five main takeaways from the study. First of all, we propose the stability and error metrics in lifting <coughs> actions and divide LOD problem as a trade-off between tracking stability and unintentional movement error. And second, the human perception threshold of LOD was about 1.2 millimeter. And third, uh, we proposed a mouse LOD measurement stick and method. And lastly, we can find the optimal settings based on the task specifics. Okay. So this is end of the talk, and thank you, thank you for listening. There's already a question. Thank you for the great talk. So Il Kianzat from Huawei Canada. Yeah. One question that I have is that, uh, can you extend the results to the touch input as well? Because as Bill Buxton mentioned, most of the error for the touch also comes when you're lifting in. Yeah, yeah. So can you expand on that if your method can be extended to that? Uh, uh, that's a very good question. And uh, I, I want to show the another, mm, <laughs> yeah, another problem. Yeah, related to this LOD yeah. sensor. So, um, so, I'm sorry. <coughs> so, as you can see, the we we can see similar phenomena in the stylus pen. So, so stylus pen user wants to end the line at the end of page, but device still tracks the pen. So this hook phenomenon occurs. So, <clears throat> so we can expand these topics to the touch, touch devices or anything else. Yeah. <clears throat> 